Hurler, 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 Jeff Cutter Diamond. And this is an introduction to the real live Worms Premier League. As you may guess, in this playlist and basically on my channel, I, I put up Worms Premier League matches. Qualifying matches. Um, so basically, um, what's happening is that I used Worms 3D for the PS2 and I got to buy bucks at my local store and I'm like happy as can be because I was always a Worms fan and of course PS2 games with Worms is not that much. It was either Worms Sports or Worms 3D. I saw Worms 3D and I'm like, hey, that's cool. So after like trying to pick up the nuances and all that, I, I consider myself fine. It's not like um, I'm doing the single player missions. I'm just doing the normal stuff. I think there's unlockables in Worms 3D. I'm not too sure. So anyway, well, I'm going to take a look um, right now for you. Um, so bear with me. Um, yeah. So yeah, what is the one I always use? It's a game I play. I think it's FAQ or something. Nine generation. Oh, bonus landscapes. Unlockable challenge. Oh, you could actually, you could actually get some fancy bad cowards. Get gold on a lot of things. Weapons. You have to get gold on a lot of challenges. Oh, you can, uh, you can, you can unlock French Lover. Ah, god damn it. No, uh, it's just some French Lover. Uh, Grandpa, Grandpa Voice, um, Horror Voice, Ma Manchester Voice, and Super Villain Voice, but yeah, it's weird, yeah, I, yeah, there's not really a lot, I know there's one sports for the PS2, but I think that's the only one, so yeah, nothing really major that I need, I can unlock. But anyway, back to the point at hand. So basically, I did all those pre those qualifying matches. Now, I know I did them wrong and that I basically did the format with 30 teams. And basically, what ended up happening is I just did each sound bank for alphabetical and all that. And then just rearranged them into groups and all that. That wasn't kind of fair. But, you know, that's just first year is usually just all that. Um... So anyway, um, the format for the Worms um, Premier League is simple. There will be there were twelve teams that qualified, four from each little sectional. Like there were three matchups in each sectional. You win those matches, you're in this Premier League. But then what happened is the runners up in each of the those three things would take each other on in a winner take all match, and the winner would get into the Premier League. So yeah. So basically, what ends up happening is that using different landscapes, using warm pot, I love that format. It's so cool. And landscapes. Oh, that I got 12 teams. Now, basically, you'll get to, to know the 12 teams if you like them. But anyway, they are all different worm teams. Um, one is Roswell, which you is actually the alien voice bank. Like you'll, you'll hear some aliens. Uh, Celtic Pride. That being the Scottish Worms, Hang Ten, which is represented by the Surfers, Eiffel Tower, represented by the French, Worms.gov, the Cyber Worms, Tell Me, which is the Inquisitive, In Inquisition um, database, um, Yarm for Pirates, Gone Self, that's the Selman Bells, China Doll, that is the Confucius, Wing aka China, of course. Smackdown, which is the wrestler of voices. Beat Nicks, which is the hippies. And Ted Hutt, drill sergeant. So basically what I did is I randomly selected, well, I used a, ra I used a randomizer to for which numbers that each um, team represents and all of that. So anyway, what ends up happening is that there will be six rounds of tournament play. Round one will, rounds one, three, and five will be four teams 
events. Like, there'll be three, four team things within each round, and two wins. You have to win two matches at, um, to, to get two rounds to win the, the whole thing. Um, and rounds th uh, two, four, six will be three teams. There'll be three team groups, but there will be four of them. So there'll be four, and you have to be the first to three, because obviously with three teams, I mean, you got to have three. So what ends up happening is that um, it'd be on a point system. If the team wins, the, the you know, but it's different with three and four team groups. In three team groups, first place gets 20 points, second place gets 15, and third place gets 10. But there's a bonus of five points for each round you win. So basically, if you win, so basically the one that wins will have 20 points. We'll have 20 points plus 15 for each round, because 5 points each round, so that's 35. So you get 35 points to win. And second place, uh, if you win a round, if you're second place, then you get 5 points a round. So you could get up to 25 if you're second place. Um, in the four-team event, there will be 14 things where rounds 1, 3, 5 is 25 for first, 20 for second, 15 for third, and 10 for fourth. And yes, there will be 5 points and all that. Now, you may be thinking, hang on, can a fourth place team get like 20 points? Obviously, they can, but well, actually 15 points. They can, but they can't because third place gets five points for a round and all that. So, yeah. So, the maximum you can get in 14 and 13 groups is 35 points each. So, yeah. Um, tie breaks will be considered this. Um, I, I did a few playthroughs, and they give a worm's MVP, like the, the top worm in each, like, sectional. If that, if the MVP is not a worm from the winning team, so, for example, if, say, like, Eiffel, Gonself, Ten Hut, and Beatnix played each other, and Gonself won, if the MVP worm is from Gonself, then that won't be, then that's not good. But if it comes from, like, Eiffel, like one of the French worms, then that, then that would be a tiebreak. Now, the tiebreak is only used if a team, if there are two or more teams that have the same amount of rounds, fit, victorious. So, basically, if you have two teams with one worm, I mean, with winning one round, what ends up happening is if, like, the French worms and the uh, Ten Hut, if the worm of the route of the tournament of the matchup is from France, then that worm gets, then that is a tiebreak. So that tiebreak would give Eiffel 15 points. We get them second place plus the five points for each round they win and all that. So yeah, it can happen that way. Um, but here's the main thing about the worms uh, thing is that round seven of them will be head-to-head -head matchups, but there will only be three head-to-head -head matchups. Now, now I consider doing a first versus second, third versus fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh, twelfth for placement. However, this is what's going to happen. First, we'll play second. So, we'll tally up the points and all of that. And make sure that we get everything in order. If there's a tie on points, it will be based on Matchups one within your group. I don't know what the next tiebreak would be after that, but anyway. Um, so first versus second. The winner is named the Premier League champion. And the best part is, for the season two of the Premier League, they cannot be relegated. Even if they are in the lower part, they cannot be relegated. Um, so, so what I d decided was that I wanted 10 teams to stay in the Premier League out of 12. So that means... So I decided to set up that if the teams that take 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, they would have to be in two key match, two winner, take all match, head to head matchups to decide which teams stay in the Premier League and which two will be relegated. Of course, there will be promotion battles. Like I will be doing some promotion stuff. So here's the thing. And then I also thought, well, those two worms teams that lose the head to heads, do they get a chance to? Get back for promotion? The answer is no. In Premier League soccer, like in English soccer, the first tier, like if you get relegated, you can't, to the second tier, you cannot go into a playoff. 
they do a playoff in the second tier that two teams, well, they the top two teams in that league qualify to be brought up Premier League because there's three teams that go down, and then the third team that goes up will be is in a four-team playoff to decide who goes up. So I decided to make it easy. So basically, they don't, like the relegated teams in the Premier League don't get a chance to go to a playoff to try to get their spots back. They'll have to play through a season. So basically, what ends up happening is that they'll do pre promotion playoffs to find out who the two teams that will jump up will be in the two teams that drop down. Are. So yeah, so 9th will play 12, 10th will play 11, and the best of, and those two teams, it'll be all the worms, it'll be a best of 7, so basically you have to win 4 out of 7 matchups to qualify, and that's the 1-2 matchup too, to get worms, and cannot be demoted no matter what happens. Um, I'm thinking in Season 2, if that worm, if the first place team ends up in the bottom 4, then we'll set up a 3-team playoff. And then the winner of that three-team playoff will get promo will stay where they are, and the other two will get demoted. So yeah, that'll take a while.